<laughs> okay. All right. Well, I just discovered something that I think is just freaking awesome. Um, so if you have Visual Studio Code, you got to install this on your shit. Like, this is really cool. Especially if you just want to test around, play with some algorithms without having to um, fire up Node or put it in a web browser, uh, whatever the case may be. But check this out. So I'm going to go over here to the Marketplace. And I'm gonna type it in, and do not ask me to pronounce this shit, cause I don't fucking know. All right, it looks like Q. -ka. There we go. Click install. You guys get the point. Hopefully, you can read that on your screen when I upload this. Okay, so here we go. Just clicked on install. Now it's reloading. Blah blah blah. Let's hit reload so we can get it. Now you can see I'm doing this for the first time, so hopefully this all works and I don't make an ass out of myself in this video here. Okay, whatever, whatever you're talking about, bro. All right, so let's start a new file, okay? And let's go ahead and, and I think it was Control-K-Q. Negative goes rider. Let's go to uh, the command palette and let's type it in here. Okay, so run and save for a current file. What? Bet you tripping. Yeah, I guess I should have. Start on current file. How about that one? Oh, it's not. It's working. Start on current file. Okay, so again, what I did view, command palette. Okay, start on current file. So yeah, I'm on a Mac, so. It would be my little command button, K and Q, which I said earlier, and for some reason didn't motherfucking work. I don't know, but whatever. So here we go. So you have basically everything you have here. So A equals, let's say, five, okay? Well, check that out. And then we console log A. What do we get? Oh my God, it's saying five. And you notice this over here is in blue. I didn't type that. So this is telling me the output on that line. So that's what it's telling me there in blue. Um, I use semicolons, so I'm old school. All right, so if we go down here, I mean, you can kind of really do, do anything. So let's say we have a string. We'll call it name equals uh, uh, Jack me off uh, let's spell it right okay and then we can test to see okay is name index of me and we can also let's just say let's console log that Unexpected token. Your mom's unexpected. All right, here we go. Negative one. So it says me isn't a part of Jack me off. Probably because it is case sensitive. So now, bam, look at that. Okay. It tells us, and just so happened that it did become five. I did not plan that. But that was quite interesting that it actually happens to be in fifth place. So it looks like, you know, I got five there twice. Um, 
So we could do this again. You know, we could uh, let's say let's copy this, and then we wanted to say okay, print out like what is off. Okay, so off is seven. So now you can see that it actually is working. So I don't know. I thought this was pretty cool, especially if you're like testing some algorithms. Um, if you're creating like a Node.js thing and you just want to test real quick kind of some things that you're doing this would be kind of a godsend if you can see at the bottom there it just kind of tells you as you go along so hopefully this video was useful for you um and look for my other videos like subscribe if i throw this on youtube whatever the case may be uh that's it be nice in the comments peace